I want you to think of your favorite artwork. It could be any artwork or image that you relate to, whether you've seen it once at a trip to an art gallery, or it's an image that you've seen hundreds of times, like the Mona Lisa or the Tim Hortons logo on your morning coffee. Now, why is that artwork your favorite? Does it convey an emotion or a narrative that you relate to? Maybe it just says something that you've never really felt before. We're bombarded by images in our daily lives. So many that it can be easy to forget about the impact that a particularly striking or even just repeated image can have on us. My research considers the social and political impacts of art and visual culture produced in Toronto in the 1970s and 80s with a focus on the gay liberation movement and the HIV AIDS crisis. For more than 60 years, queer individuals and grassroots organizations have come together to fight back against systemic oppression perpetrated by the very institutions that are meant to provide safety and equal rights to everyone. The queer community ensured their own rights and representation at times when those in power refused to offer their help or even acknowledge their existence. Visual culture and artworks such as Andy Fabo's Craft of the Contaminated and General Ideas AIDS works illustrate the range of emotions and narratives that can be embodied by visual culture in the service of socio-political movements like these. Through their diverse works, artists were able to convey their social neglect, reflect the realities of queer intimacy, and urge social change in a way that couldn't be matched through other means. Visual culture became an incubator by which artists formulated their values, their performative identities, and the political actions that came to define their activism. They urged social change and developed a queer community in Toronto while, help, while helping society to change their perceptions of queerness and AIDS. Through my research, I urge a new generation of Toronto-based artists to find the inequalities and the marginalized groups that still remain. And by looking to the founders of activist and art and politically engaged artists working in Toronto, lead the way towards a more accepting, just, and equal society through their artworks. Thank you.